Yep, here are the tuning machines we're about to install on our strap. Should be interesting. Here we go. Now, as you guys know, I love to feature smaller companies on the channel. Companies that kind of fly under the radar and not a lot of people know what they're doing. I also like to find interesting and unique gear. Well, today those two things are definitely coming together, so should be interesting. Now, these tuning machines were brought to my attention by a subscriber who said, Daryl, I'd love to see you install these on a guitar. So I followed the link, took a good look at them, and I was like, yeah, these are pretty crazy. I'm in. Let's do it. So I ordered a set. Here we go. Let's see if we can put them on a strap. Now, as you guys can see, the tuning machines are brought to you by Riot Tuners. Inside a riot. Not sure that's the best catchphrase given our current political climate, but you know, Riot Tuners, I will link to these guys in the video description below. Uh, it says, thank you, Braun, Chris from Riot. Not sure we're on a last name basis yet, but anyway, thank you, Chris. Love the recycled packaging. Always like to see that on a company instead of like, you know, a tiny part, you know, encased in plastic or whatever. So here we go. So just a little cardboard sleeve in a recycled box, recycled envelope. Love that. And yes, as I mentioned, there you go. Stickers, a couple picks and an Allen key, which we will need. So that's kind of what you get in the box. And of course, uh, yeah, the tuning machines never seen anything like these. Well, that's not strictly true. These style of tuning machines have shown up on some very select models in the past. Uh, not sure, you know, how related they are to these Riot ones, but you know, this style where there's no, you know, tuning key <laughs> involved is all on the back. So anyway, this is how it comes shipped, just in a little board. And as I mentioned, yeah, I love the kind of the recycled aspect of it. And that's just kind of a good look. So what I'm going to do is disassemble these tuning machines from the board and we'll be right back. Well, I've got the tuning machines uninstalled from the packaging, ready to be installed on our Strat. And I've read the instructions, so I think I got a handle on what's going on. So anyway, string ends will go through here, through the head of the guitar, out the back. And there's a little locking collar with a set screw. So I believe these are locking tuning machines. I'm just going to test that really quick here before we put them on our guitar. And it looks like the diameter of uh, here where the string will come through is the same on each one of the tuning machines. So I do also want to verify that my 10 by 46s will uh, yeah, go through there properly. You'll have to check the website to see what the thickest gauge is. So what I'm going to do is just loosening the set screw here. And I'm going to grab my six string and just make sure it works. So yes, anyway, from the bridge, it will go through here. Move my hand so I don't uh, impale it. Hopefully I've got the set screw out enough so that it'll come through. There we go. Yeah, so 10 by 46, no problem there. Or I should say 46. And there is a little bit of leeway. So you should be able to put a thicker string through there as well. And then the way I understand it is once it's through, you'll take your little, there we go, Allen key. Tighten that baby up. And they do caution about over tightening. So I'm just going to tighten it a bit. And yep, that is fully locked. Using my full strength there. That is not going anywhere. So that's how the locking mechanism on this tuning machine works. And I got to say, it works really well. Could not get it to budge. And I just have it like lightly tightened. So they are locking tuning machines. That's how the design works. Let's break out the Strat and get these babies installed. Now, as I mentioned, changing tuning machines on a Strat is about as easy a job as, you know, humanly possible when it comes to modding. So all we're gonna do is loosen the top nut here and the tuning machines will pop right out. Well, we are ready to install the Riot tuning machines onto the Strat. All you need is to make sure that your tuning machine holes are 10 millimeter. That's it. If you've got a guitar with 10 millimeter tuning machine holes, you're good to go. Doesn't matter if it's six in line, three plus three, uh, four plus two, Music Man, whatever. If it's 10 mil, boom, it's gonna be a perfect fit. So let's just flip the old Strat over here. 
carefully. Now, step one, install the rubber washer, like so. Step two, regular metal washer. Oops, let's get that on there. And then we've got our nut, and that's just gonna hold everything secure. So there you go, now it's not gonna fall out. And then once we add our tuning machine adjustment, I think this is 40 to one if I remember from the, the website, so it's gonna be very fine tuning, and it's reverse thread. So it's righty to loosen, lefty to tighten. Yeah, a little confusing. Anyway, there we go. That is tuning machine number one installed. I'm gonna put them all in and we'll be back. Well, I've got five of the six Riot tuners installed on the Strat, but before I put the last one in, I remembered I wanted to do a weight comparison. So we've got just the stock fender locking tuners that came on the Strat. So there we go. Just, yeah, very typical style locking tuner with the tightening thumb wheel there. So let's throw it on the scale. Uh, we're on grams. Yes, we are. So it's coming up as 36 grams. Okay, now I'm sort of assuming that the Riot will be heavier, but I just don't know. That's 32. It's actually lighter. So the fender locking tuners, let's take another, let's take another reading there. Yeah, 36. The Riot, 32. So they're actually lighter than the equivalent fender locking tuners, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to do that real quick and uh, yeah, see what the differences would be uh, in weight. So you're actually going to lighten up your headstock a little bit by using the Riots. All right, last one going in and the Strat's already starting to look pretty funky. Should be pretty unique. I mean, Strats are like the Honda Civic or the Jeep Wrangler of the guitar world. Any sort of, you know, mod or aftermarket uh, part is guaranteed to fit. There's part of the fun of owning, you know, a Strat just because everything, no matter what, you know, someone's gonna make one for a Strat. But like I said, anything with 10 mil tuning machines, uh, holes guaranteed to fit. So there we go. We're just gonna thread in the very last one and let's take a closer look. Well, here's what we got so far. Installation, very easy. All you have to do is install the components in the appropriate order, which is clearly laid out in the instructions. Now, I gotta say, it is very weird not to have tuning machines right here. It's like a dog without a tail, rabbit without ears, or Gibson without pissing off the entire guitar community at least once a year. You just expect them to be there. Now that being said, let's get some strings on the Strat, lock them down and see how well they hold. All right, I've got sixth string, fifth string and fourth string all strung up and locked, ready to be tuned. Now when it comes to the unwound strings, so third string, second string and first string, unless you use a wound third, then it would just be second and first. Um, they recommend kind of doing a little loop-de-loop. -loop. Now this brass part is just free spinning, so you can kind of line it up however you want to, you know, when it comes to locking it down like that. But before they do, they just recommend taking the string and there's another little machined hole that you can slide it through. Hopefully it's showing up on camera, but basically just grabbing it and tightening it. So you got a little, let me grab it like that. So you've got the string coming out, looping around and back through. Then you can take your Allen key, tighten it up. And now it's actually tightening on two portions of the string. The string, uh, the par portion that comes straight out and the portion that gets looped back. So that's sort of like the process they recommend. And again, they definitely stress don't over tighten the set screws. The, it's gonna grab, but that's kind of like, you know, what they want you to do for the unwound strings. Come straight out and back through. Uh, for the wound ones, there's probably lots enough tension just because of how gritty uh, the winds are. So anyway, that's how you do these three strings. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Then we'll kind of plug it in, test it out, and uh, see how they do. Well, you guys, it is time to tune this sucker up. Now, they recommend not trimming off the string ends until you know you get it in tune and until you can verify that you know the string is definitely not going to be slipping or anything like that. So we're just going to leave them on and yeah, this is just how you tune them up. Now I started all of them as you can see right up against the nut and as you go like this, obviously we're bringing the, the string higher in pitch and then if you whatever wanted to drop tune or something like that, you would just dial them forward. So that's the whole tuning aspect of it, very self-explanatory. 
So here's the finished product on the Strat. As you guys can see, I've trimmed all the strings so there's nothing protruding. And on the ones, the wound strings where it comes straight out the back, um, yeah, no pokiness at all, so happy with that. And then I came back and just tightened up the set screw after I played on it and stretched the strings a little bit because they did need to be tightened again. So I would leave the full strings out as you're stretching the strings, playing on it for a half hour or so. Once you're pretty confident, then just retighten the little set screw. Don't over tighten it um, and then trim off your strings and yeah, no pokiness there at all. And then on the other side where they get wound around to the side, Yep, did the same thing, just trim them straight up against the side um, and no pokiness. So happy for that, uh, wasn't sure how that was gonna be. And as you can see, they're just staggered in slightly different heights. So the first string here and the third string, just depending on how you know tight you started when you uh, you know put the strings through. And on the sixth string and fifth string, um, yeah, they're a little bit lower. So you just kind of get a little bit of that wavy motion um, as you're tuning your strings up or down but in terms of like the ease of turning so easy to use you know no resistance at all um, so and yeah with that 40 to 1 ratio or whatever it is um, it's very easy to dial in things very precisely so there you go and as you can see as you turn this the center section will just stay the same or slightly kind of bob along because it is independent so that's kind of a nice little cool touch and yeah, there you go. Now on the Strat, because there are no base plates that come with it, some other tuning machines, you know, will come with plates that kind of cover up the old holes. Um, if you're doing like a parts caster or a new build, um, you would have a very clean look there or, you know, different style of tuning machine. But on the Strat, you can see, you know, all the original mounting holes. So that might be a plus or a minus. Well, on the Strat, it's a minus because you can see it all. Um, but depending on what kind of guitar you put it on, could be a plus or minus because um, it could give you a very, very clean look if you don't have those uh, those drilled yet. But anyway, that's just what it looks like on the Strat. So I just wanted to show you guys so you could see very clearly what that looks like. And then here you can see, you know, that staggered how some are higher or lower, just depending on how tight you started when you put the string in. And front face. There we go. That's what it looks like. Well, now that I've had these installed and played around on them a little bit, let's talk about the advantages and the disadvantages of the Riot tuning machines. Advantage number one is, well, it's going to give your guitar a totally custom look. If you're looking for something, you know, a little bit out of the ordinary, a unique look for your guitar, these will get the job done for sure. And I think they would look fantastic on like a performance guitar, like a Kiesel or an Ormsby, Ibanez, ESP, those kind of guitars. Uh, I think could look really cool or a parts caster where you want something um, that really not a lot of other people will have. Uh, that's where these shine for sure. Number two advantage, well, they're a great tuning machine. They lock up nice. They're very easy to use. They're a little bit more precise. Um, so as like a locking tuner, they're great. They hold the guitar in tune um, and they lock the string tight. So that is great. Now possible disadvantages. Number one, they're kind of expensive. They're a hundred bucks US. So maybe like 20, 30 bucks more than the equivalent, you know, Fender set. Um, so yeah, they are a little bit more expensive than your average set of tuning machines. Um, and number two, well, part of the reason why you want locking tuners is for quick string changes you know if you break a string you just loosen the thumb wheel grab a new string tighten up the thumb wheel and tighten up your string on these it's a little bit more tricky you have to have the allen key so you have to have it in your case or on your guitar you have to loosen that up pull the old string out put it in tighten it up with the allen uh, key and then use the thumb wheels to tighten to tune your string so that kind of takes the advantage or part of the advantage of locking uh, tuners out of the equation. Uh, changing strings is not a super quick affair. You need that Allen key. So that's a you know potential downside for sure. But yeah, other than that, it's a fun experiment for a guitar. So I'm going to leave these on for a bit and maybe, you know, after a few months, I can do a follow up where I really put these through the paces. Uh, but for now, just for that initial installation and look, a uh, really fun and interesting product. So as I mentioned earlier, I will link to these guys uh, down in the video description below. I'm not affiliated with them at all. I just bought some of their tuning machines to test out. But yeah, really interesting product, but you can check out all the specs, uh, all the details, what kind of string gauges they'll you know, accept all that kind of stuff. Uh, just follow the link in the video description below. Other than that, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun to put together. If you did, be sure to subscribe to the channel. All my information will be down in the video description below as well. 
Have yourself a great day.